This is why I have a sofa in my garage. So I can sit here and look at the mess. <laughs> um, this is Edward from, uh, or I guess Geek from Adventure Rider. And I'm about halfway on my uh, my cam chain. And I thought I'd put this together to see if it helps better than photos. To give you guys an idea of the scope of the, of the job if you go to tackle it yourselves. Nothing about it's too complicated. Um, there's only one special tool required. I'm sure if you ask in the Husky thread you can get somebody to loan you one. I've had quite a few guys offer me theirs. And I appreciate it. I did borrow one from Alfredo. Uh, you start off, you know, standard stuff, drain your radiator, pull the radiators, um, pull your exhaust system. Uh, the whole objective being to eventually get to where you can pull the valve cover off. Uh, there's a valve cover there. Um, once you get your valve cover off, then the next objective is to get to where you can remove your alternator, which is right here, as you get the generator. Um, is this guy, and it requires this Motion Pro tool to pull it. Uh, one of the issues that you run into is that you can't get this nut off, which I've taken off. I put it back on right now to change my position, but uh, Motion Pro makes a special tool for it. I didn't have one, so I ended up having to pull the clutch side off so that I could um, actually feed a penny in here just to jam up the transmission so that I could snap that bolt free. Um, you can see it ate the penny up pretty well, so I don't know if I recommend it or not, but it did work. Uh, there's not, or there is too much slack in the chain and the sprockets, so you can't get it to jam up that way. There's, uh, there's just too much leverage through the transmission. Um, when you're done taking the basic parts off, you start getting to the cam chain itself. A few things that aren't intuitively obvious. Um, I've actually pulled mine out already. This is my new one. Um, but let's talk about what happens here. This cam chain, or sorry, this uh, cam shaft, let me put it back on. This cam shaft is sitting up in here. Sorry, I can't video and talk at the same time. It's sitting up in here with this on it and the chain running over. You end up snapping these bolts free, this one and uh, that one. Um, it takes a lot of force to snap them free. Uh, you think you're gonna you're gonna break something, or you wonder if they're reverse thread. You just have to crank on it. Make sure you have a fresh Allen key. I had to use a lot of leverage when it snaps. It goes, and you bloody your knuckles, but you get it. Um, and that allows you to pull this off. And once you pull this off, you can see now it's free. And that little bit of play you, it enables you to pull the cam chain off of the gear. And then once you've got it off of the gear, then you can take this and slip it through like this and remove it. Uh, once you remove it, then your cam chain is loose. This is my new chain, so I'm not going to drop it back down. Um, but what happens is you have to pull a water jacket out of here. Um, actually, let me grab it. Okay, so here is a sleeve that was in this hole. And uh, I grabbed it with a dental pick on the inside. There was a groove I could get a hold of. And it popped free, not too bad. And then down here, you end up having to uh, remove your reed valve cover, which there's two nuts right here, and there's a little cover, and then there's a reed valve that's right here, and I'll show you what those look like. There they are right there, so there is this little cover on top of this uh, valve. You remove that so these nuts are out of your way. So that gives you the clearance to drop the chain down. Um, you drop the chain down the hole, it falls through, and it piles up down here. You can see it's loose right now. Usually it's on that, it's actually on that back gear there. It's usually on that gear there. It'll all fall in. And uh, I had some trouble getting mine out. And you can see right here is a flange. I don't know if there's enough light. Um, anyway, you'll see it when you get yours apart. But this flange right here, the gap through there is smaller. And that looks a little better. Anyway, it's it's narrower than the chain. You get the chain all dropped down in, and you can't get it out. So what I ended up doing is I took the chain and pulled it out like this. Here, pretend my hand's the chain. It's laying like this. And I pulled it out, and I, I pulled, picked it up like this at 90 degrees, and then I pushed it back in and up, and I was able to flange it out that way, because then it's narrow enough to come out. Um, immediately once I pulled it out, I stuck a yellow zip tie on it, 
because I had a bad dream the other night that I put the wrong chain back in. Uh, so before I even open the package, um, took the new one out. Uh, you've got to fish it back up through. I decided to use a piece of safety wire, so I dropped the piece of safety wire down in, and I twisted it onto the cam chain, and I simply pulled the chain back up. Um, I had to start like this with the chain, get it in that gap, and then drop the chain down in and push it all down in there, and then just simply uh, feed it back up through. And now I'll just reverse the process. I'll put the uh, the camshaft back in, put the chain on the gear, put the nuts back in, you know, et cetera, et cetera, do a valve clearance while I'm in here. And uh, that's about it. Nothing other than standard tools except for the One Motion Pro or the Husky gear puller. Um, you could probably do it without taking the front fender off. I took it off because it made life a lot easier just working around the bike. But I don't think you could do it with without taking at least this much apart. I've taken pretty much the minimum apart. I didn't take the carburetor off, I didn't take the airbox off. Um, I didn't have to take the sprocket cover off. That was part of trying to jam the transmission. I ended up having to pull the clutch cover on the other side, which is fine anyway. There's a bag filter over there that needs to be cleaned. Uh, but that's about it. So, if, uh, if you delve into this and you get stuck at all, feel free to uh, email me and I'll try to help you. It's edward at topgeek.com or you can always uh, PM me on Adventure Rider. Thanks, guys.